Cold start. Alright guys, sorry it's been so long since the last video. I've just been super busy at work and uh, it's a good thing. It's probably the busiest I've ever been in my entire career. So clients come first and then uh, it doesn't leave a whole lot of time for YouTube stuff. But there hasn't been a whole lot going on anyway. Haven't really done anything to the car. And uh, my brother's shop finally just got their permits. So things should start going over there and we should uh, be able to make some pretty good videos hopefully sometime soon. So today I just want to do a little bit of a follow-up on the AAM resonated short tails that I installed about a month and a half ago. So driving with them installed for about the last month and a half, I have a pretty good feeling for the pros and cons. And for me the pro is definitely how damn good it sounds inside and outside of the car. So I know from the factory the exhaust is a little different on the Nismo versus the, the regular 370Z. So I don't know if the, the AAM short tails will sound the same on, on both cars, but either way I'm sure it's going to sound good. Another pro is that I haven't turned the radio on in the car since the day I installed them. It just sounds that good. So now for the cons, there's actually three of them. And the first one is I can't get them exactly aligned the way I want them to. So I've tried several different times. It's just going to take some heat. So once my brother's place has some torches set up and ready to go, um, I'll take care of that. So the second thing is at about 3,000 RPMs, I'm still getting a little bit of drone. It's actually gotten a lot less since I installed them. So um, it's barely noticeable now. It's not a big deal, but it's just something that uh, I wanted to mention. There is some drone, but it's very, very minor. So the third thing has nothing to do with the exhaust it, itself. It's actually manufactured really nicely, but uh, because of how loud it is inside my car, there's a vibration coming somewhere in the back, and it's driving me crazy. So at some point today, I hope to fix that, and uh, I'll probably get to work on that here shortly. So I think I know exactly where the rattle's coming from, and it shouldn't take me too long to fix it, but it's on the passenger side, so I need to move my car over to uh, the other side of the garage so I have some room to work on it over there. And uh, I guess we can do that by starting off with a, uh, a very cold start because it's about 22 degrees outside right now. Oh, before I do that, I'm also going to mention that I'm also going to insert a clip that uh, I did the other day from inside the car on a cold start. So two separate times, but one's, one's going to be from now and son of a bitch. So one's going to be a cold start from right now and then uh, one inside the car was from the other day. But uh, first I got to fix this smoke alarm beeping. So this is interesting. I thought the smoke alarm was chirping because it needed a battery, but it's hardwired. All right, so I just Googled it. The reason there's a battery in there, even though it's hardwired, is in case the power goes out, which uh, I never thought of. So anyway, let me change the battery real quick. All right, we are back in business. Battery has been changed and now I just got to put it back up on the ceiling. All right, no more beeping. Alright guys, so clearly this is the dirtiest my car has ever been since I've had it and uh, I just, I've been so busy I haven't had time to clean it or do anything else to it. So um, there's actually salt on the roads because we did have a little bit of snow the other day and uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow in the next couple of days so I'm going to let that wash off the roads before I uh, do a good wash on this car because it does have uh, a good layer of wax on it underneath that dirt right now. So I don't know if you can hear how good this sounds at idle, but it's a nice deep tone. It's almost got like a V8 sound to it. So I had to back the camera way up to keep the sun from shining directly into it, but uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the exhaust on the, uh, the passenger side, it's not hanging down lower, it's just tilted at a different angle, and uh, that's what I've tried to fool around with and, and adjust many times, and I, I just can't get it. So, like I said, once my brother's shop is up and running and they have torches and, and a welder, um, I'm pretty sure that we can get that perfect, so until then I'll just have to live with it. Anyway, since the car is warmed up now, let's give it a couple of revs so you guys can hear how it sounds.
Okay, so right in this area here, you can clearly hear the rattle, and uh, well, I hope you can over the GoPro anyway. I know in this section here, there's a weight, which I just might end up removing anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna tear the, the plastic trim out now and, and see what I can find, but I'm not gonna do that on video or make a video about that because obviously rattles come from, from different places and different cars, so it won't really help anybody. All right guys, so I'm gonna end this video with some footage I took when I was driving around probably about three weeks ago. Um, the idea was so that you guys can hear the exhaust from inside the car. It didn't really translate well over the GoPro, but um, hopefully you get a good enough idea. It, believe me when I say it, it sounds really, really good. But uh, other than that, thanks again for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I promise to make some, some videos a lot more often than I have been. Anyway, thanks, bye.